All right, the India Art Summit is something that opens in the capital of New Delhi starting tomorrow. Here's a look at what you can expect if you actually decide to turn up at the venue. The India Art Summit 2009 is all set to open tomorrow and galleries are working round the clock to create engaging aesthetic experiences. From over 500 artworks, here are some highlights. The summit's entrance boasts of a sculpture park which includes interactive, three-dimensional works by 10 established artists including Ravindra Reddy, Ved Gupta and G.R. Ranna. Move into the foyer and Subodh Gupta's Three Monkeys Stand Tall. His work is part of the Purple Wall project curated by renowned critic Gayatri Sinha. The project involves sculptural installations spread across the outer fringes of the display sites. These works reflect on the state of the city and the complex ideas that emerge from changing developing nations. Gandhi is the one big symbol today in the world. We talk about peace. And... Uh, I believe we're going totally opposite that. So that's why I changed Gandhi Three Monkey today is they change the faces. No? One become a terrorist, one become an army man, one become a chemical man. Five years ago, the Indian Air Force, they had an air display. And I remember being mesmerized by the flight of these machines. At the same time, I felt a kind of terror. From international galleries, watch out for new works by British-based Indian legend Anish Kapoor, whose sculpture Cloud Cape sits tall at Chicago's Millennium Park. Anish Kapoor's work is very, he's very interested in perception and the whole idea of what, of making visit, visit bill what is invisible. So we chose two mirrored works which we thought um, encapsulate these ideas behind his work very well. And one is a hexagonal mirror, which is a recent work of his, and the other one is one of his plainer surface mirrors, which, are, which is in red. The drawing room from Makati City, Philippines, boasts of a sculpture that screams innovation, one that serves as a musical instrument and an art piece. Okay, um, we brought about six or seven artists. One of them is Lirio Salvador. He's a sculptor and a musician from Manila. People can actually touch it, and then with one hand, you touch this little ball, and with the other hand, if you touch any part of the metal, it will sound. So those were just some of the highlights to look forward to. But remember, there are a lot more exhibits that you can watch out for because 54 galleries from across the globe are participating at the India Arts Summit. Now the event also stands as a hallmark event because it is focusing on building a knowledge base for the appreciation of arts. In New Delhi, Mohini Varma for NDTV.